Hello! Uh, how you doing? This is Els coming from Bemis Crafty Corner and I have a project today. Now this one was a viewer request. The video was sent to me um, and I was asked if I could do this and I uh, will explain why. Um, the original one came out in the third week of June of 2023 so it's recent uh, and it was originally on uh, pink monarch prints now she said she got it from someone else but the links to everything are broken on the channel so I could not go back to who the original was and um, so I watched this and I was like, I don't understand why they need me to do this. And then I realized what it was. Um, this was done in metric. Uh, it was originally done at 21 centimeters by 22 centimeters, I believe. And well, that just doesn't translate for most of us. So a uh, viewer asked if I would redo this and do it with regular prints. Now, the original one that was done was done from a digital that she purchased on Etsy. And again, that link is broken. So I couldn't go and get the original uh, piece and resize it. So I had to do it from scratch. So I got out my ruler and I sat down and I did a little figuring and um, 20 by 21 centimeters comes out to about uh, eight and a quarter by eight and three quarters. So I said, you know what, we're just gonna do this. We can do it. So what this is, is um, I don't know what they're calling it, but I'm calling it a kimono fold because that's what I think it looks like, okay? And they say it has three pockets. There's one here, one on the side over here. Doop. And then one on the other side that mirrors the one on the front. And uh, obviously this is a clip-in kind of deal. So, because of the way that it folds, I'm saying that this is like a kimono pocket. So we're calling this a double kimono pocket. Uh, and it, it has three pockets and a tuck, uh, two tucks, because you got a pocket here and you have a tuck here. So if you do something small, you can do something small in the front and do a pocket at the top same thing on the other side so that's four and then one more in the side which would give you five so I'm gonna get out supplies on this one and um, I will of course give you the measurements in the description box below but I'm gonna walk you through this one it's relatively easy to do um, and it's a great way to use up some 8 by 8 paper because we're gonna redo this at 8 by 8 okay so, I'm going to get out some supplies and then we're going to get started. I'll be right back. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So, supplies on this one. Glue, scoring tools, scoring board, a ruler, a pencil, paper trimmer, an 8 by 8 inch piece of cardstock, and some paper to decorate okay and I have this which is um it's like supposed to look like old vintage wallpapers um, so we're gonna use some of this okay so let's get this out of the way let's get this out of the way and let's move some stuff all right so this one's pretty easy we're gonna put this in at eight inches, the first thing we're gonna do is score it at four. Nice, light, even scores here. Don't, don't abuse the paper. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and give it a full turn. And we're going to score this at two and a half. And at five and a half. Okay, so you should have six um, squares on there, or 
resemblances thereof. And then we're going to do some folding. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold it down that four inch score line. Match up your corners, match up your edges. And then go ahead and burnish your score line. Okay. And then we're going to open it up and we are going to fold in these little side flaps. Remember, wherever there's a valley, make it a hill. Wherever there's a hill, make it a valley. Okay. I'm going to get it lined up well. and then burnish that and do the same thing on the other side. So we have a piece that's like this, okay? So we're gonna fold this back down again and we're gonna use our ruler to come up uh, about two inches on the side here from the open flap we're going to go ahead and put a mark right here. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. And then we're going to chop those off. So we're going to get out our paper trimmer. And we're going to line up this fold and this mark on our cutting edge. Take that off and do the same thing on the other side. So that fold and that mark and take that off. Okay. So now you should have a piece that looks like a diaper. I know, right? Um, so that's what we're looking for, something that looks like this. Okay? Nothing else. No other cutting to make this. This is the base. This is it. This is all you have. Okay? So, I'm going to get out some paper. We're going to cut some mats for this, and I'll be back, and we're going to put the whole thing together. Okay? Be right back. All right. I've got my trimmer out. I've got out some paper. Uh, I have my ruler and I have my piece. And each side here is four inches, so three and three quarters. And then the width of this center piece is three inches, two and three quarters. So I'm going to cut two pieces that are three and three quarters by two and three quarters. And I am going to mind uh, directions on my paper if my paper is directional. Okay. So three and three quarters, and then two pieces that are two and three quarters. Okay, so that's going to be my base pieces. And then I'm going to use this, I think, uh, to do one of the flaps, and that will make it easier for everyone to see what we're doing. So to do the flaps, we need a piece that is two and a quarter by three and three quarters. So we're going to cut two of those. And we're going to go this way because this has a direction. Okay. And then I'm going to cut the other ones out of this. Quarters. Ooh. <laughs> All 
Eh. I might want to make sure I'm cutting this right. Two and a quarter. <laughs> Not two and three quarters. Two and a quarter. Okay. And one more of those. So. Three and three quarters. Two and a quarter. And that's it. Put this away. I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to get my pieces and I'll be right back. All right. So now this is going to be like the last cut we're going to do. We're going to take two of these, one inside, one outside, put them together, place them on here, and we're going to center them left to right between the outside edge and the fold. And then we're going to double that distance to come up. And then we're going to turn this over and draw a line. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other two pieces on the other side. So we're just going to line them up, put them on here, double the distance on the bottom, put that down, draw a line. Okay. And then we're going to cut these right along that line on our trimmer. Now those are scraps. They're good scraps, but they're still scraps. Uh, and we now have all of our pieces. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to ink all of these, ink all of this uh, down both sides around and these pieces here. Okay. So all the way around these outside edges and all of our folds, we do not need to ink the inside, just the parts where the hills are. Okay. So get all those inked, ink all of these, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have everything inked up. Let's get down to some assembly, shall we? <clears throat> now, as usual, I haven't used this glue in a day or two, and so it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a pain in the butt, but we're going to get through it. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to glue these little triangle pieces onto our flaps. Turn this around. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So once we have these glued down, we're going to do something a little odd. We're going to flip the whole thing over. And we're going to ink this piece right here. Both sides. And this piece, top and bottom. Okay. Now, we're going to glue these in.
one here, and one over here. So once I have those in, now we're going to be folding in our pockets. And I'm going to be putting a little bit of glue here, folding it in, pressing it down. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this side, and I'm going to bring that one in. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Glue. And glue. And then you have this piece that looks like this. And then you're going to fold. And then you're going to decide which side you want to be open and which side you want to be closed. And you're just going to add your glue as close to the edge as possible. Put it down. Now, there's a lot of layers going on here, so I recommend that you put a couple of clamps on this. And then... We'll be back to talk about the bits, pieces, and parts that go inside. Okay? I'll be right back. Okay. So this is um, it's still drying, but we're going to go ahead and measure, and we're going to remember that there's basically this line down here where it's glued, so we're going to kind of decide where we want uh, our tag to come up to, and so we're going to cut our tag at four and a half by hmm, two and three quarters for the tag. That sounds like a good idea. Um, <laughs> we're going to be doing um, a little card to go in the front here. And as you can see, that's about as far down as it will go. So we're going to go about, uh, about two and a half by two and three quarters for that. And then uh, the inside card here goes to uh, two and three quarters. And with our glue line at four, I'd go about three and a half by two and three quarters, okay? So I've got some scrap pieces of um, file folder here that I'm going to use to uh, make my cards just so that they stand out a little bit. So let's get out our cutter. And let's get started. So the first thing we want to make is uh, we want to make two tags that are four and a half by two and three quarters. Two and three quarters by four and a half. Two and three quarters. Four and a half. So those are my two tags. And then I'm going to be doing these little ones in here that are going to be two and three quarters by two and a half. do one card for in here and that is going to be at two and three quarters by three and a half two and three quarters three and a half and of course we're going to see if these all fit So let's go ahead and test. So this is our tags. These go up here. 
and that's pretty good. I can make one a little shorter if I want to, so those work pretty good. This is the little card that's going in the side, and it goes in and out rather nicely. Um, probably going to put a tab on that, and then we have these little ones here. Now, we can make these into tags or just leave them as journal cards. It's entirely up to you, but basically that's what's, you know, so you'll have one here and a tag up here, and then you'll have your card inside, and as I said, you'll probably end up putting a pull tab on that, and then you'll have another card that you can put in here, and another tag up here. So, all right, so that's it. Um, I'm not going to bother decorating these uh, at this point because I don't know what I'm going to do with this. But, let me tell you this, I did offset this a little bit with ink so that you guys could see. I took one of the tags and trimmed it just a little smaller so that when I put this in you can tell there's two tags, two sides. And I put a little pull on the inside journal card just to make it easier to come in and out and then went ahead and inked the little card here in the front. So you have one, two, three, four, five little writing spaces in this. This is a good, you know, that's good investment in your property. Um, <laughs> and then of course, you know, you could just clip this into a journal using a, a paper clip or, um, you know, one of those binder clips if you have one that you like, or you could use, uh, you know, like a vintage style clip absolutely uh but that's it that's all i have for you today uh, i will link the original video in the description below and um once again thank you for submitting this uh took me a little while but i figured it out and we have a cool new project for it so if you have any questions put those in the description box below instant message me email whatever it is you need to do um go ahead and hit the subscribe give me a thumbs up you know and check out the community tab here on the youtube channel go down and look in the description there's all kinds of links down there to some really interesting stuff until i see you again stay well my friends bye bye